Eerie. Time to enter the house. Come on. Oh man, look at that. Look at this, it's an old swimming pool. What's he doing? Wake up! I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bam! See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Whoa, please. Up close and personal. And a massive snake! Okay, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated python in the water. Come on, let's go. I found an abandoned house in the Southeast Asian jungle. It's been empty for a decade, and the rainforest is creeping back in. And there are tons of places for creatures to hide. I found two snakes. Snake, snake, look at that, wow. Pit viper. So we've got these nests and the birds are going in and out. Pit vipers, they can sense birds coming in and out, warm blooded prey. That's a perfect position to be able to snatch a bird. And a grumpy racer snake exploring in the shade. Luckily, not venomous. Phew. I reckon as the night falls, nocturnal creatures will be coming out to play. It seems like it's probably a bit too light still for the bats to be coming in. Over time, it'll get darker and darker and the bats will start to move in. What a day it's been at the abandoned house with all the animals that were out hiding that I couldn't manage to find in the house are gonna be out and about. We've already seen that dead scorpion, so we know there are arachnids in there. I brought my coffee, hopefully I'll stay awake all night and find some cool animals. Come on, let's go. Ooh, eerie. Time to enter the house, come on. The rainforest nighttime is a very busy time. Now, all those little nooks and crannies that might have looked empty are starting to wake up. Right, check in, see who's home. And all the sounds of creatures scuttling around are beginning to feel very loud. Ooh, eerie. I'm gonna have to tread very carefully if I want to come out of this one safely. Ah oh, yes, look at that. As I said, just like a cave ecosystem, there's a bat in the corner. Wow, look at that. Cute. Hello. Hello, mate. You'll be eating a lot of insects in that corner. Wake up! <laughs> okay, cool. Well, there's bats. Let's see what else we can find. Look, even these tiny holes are getting filled up with life. Oh man, look at that. Didn't even see this during the day. Look at this, it's an old swimming pool. Weird, weird. It's now become a pond, so you can see all this water here, it must be a perfect resource. Look at that, all the frogs all coming alive. Lots of frogs means lots of snakes. Whip snake, the oriental whip snake. Come, come around here. Ah yes, okay. There you go. There's a snake in the, another bush. Let's see if I can get him down. Oh god, he's moving. Come on the other side. Uh. Yes! Caught him! Woohoo! Oriental whip snake. Wow, that was a hard find. This is a small whip snake. And if you just look at that, really gorgeous, really, really twig like this guy specializes in eating frogs there's a bulge there a little bit of a bulge that's probably a recent meal thanks for letting us see let's release him back up the tree wow the big gecko there look at him big boy 
Yeah, look at him going there. That's probably where he's been hiding during the day. Geckos. Lots of geckos. There you are. See? As I said, look at them. One, two, three, four. No, that's not the one. There's a specific gecko that I'm looking for, but this isn't the one. Gecko. Yes, that's the gecko I'm after. The bent toed gecko. Woohoo! Look at this guy. That's the gecko that I've been after. There's so many insects, this is why he was here. They got those big eyes to see those insects coming along at night. Cheeky smile like all geckos have. Good luck, mate. Got very sticky feet. Got Spider-Man's feet. He can stick upwards all the way along. It's called lamelle. Anyway, time to put this one away, see what else is lurking around in the abandoned house. size of this guy. Whoa. He is massive. An absolute monster of a millipede. Incredible, those legs just waves moving along the floor. Really sensitive to, look at that. Really sensitive smell. Smelling my hand right there. These guys are totally bizarre, alien looking things. Every single little leg moving. All in synchrony. Just kind of gliding along that floor. It's a bit creepy. It's a bit ticklish, actually. There's something over there. Whoa! Get this guy out quick. Wow! Whoa! Tarantula! Oh! Whoa, my God! This is creepy. Stay, stay, stay. Look at this. This is a tarantula. This guy eats other invertebrates. If I got bitten by this spider, I'd certainly be sick for up to seven hours. Wow, what an absolute beauty. Are you little scary spider on me? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Tarantula. You see those hairs on that body? They use them to feel, sense vibrations. Unlike other spiders, they do not use webs to catch their prey. They build burrows. What's he doing? Do anything on my arm there? And move up there. Move up there. There. Yeah. Move. I like it when he moves. It just stop there. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Really careful because I do not want to get bitten. He actually uses that venom to digest and liquefy its prey from the inside. And he can actually suck the food straight into its mouth in a liquid form. It's actually quite unusual to see tarantulas out and about. This would be a male. The male tarantulas, they wander looking for the females. The females live in their burrows for their whole lives. What's amazing about these spiders, that many people think of spiders, they only live a year, maybe two years, but they actually live up to 30 years and only 700 species of them. So every single one of them we should really appreciate. They're actually an indicator species of how healthy an ecosystem is. Where there's a tarantula, it means there's a lot of prey around. Because this, in his world, he's the top predator. Just a little cuddly little tarantula. Oh, wow, thanks. That was a great find. Tarantula, yes. Off you go. Happy hunt. It's been incredible exploring such a specific location. And you feel like a real explorer. What I have learned is the true power of nature. Only a few years have gone by 
and this part of the forest was dominated by people. And where people are, nature just isn't given the chance to thrive. Nature may struggle to live with us, but don't be fooled. Given just half a chance, animals will reclaim their home rapidly. That is nature at its best.